The Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, the LTTE, was founded by Velu Pillai Prabhakaran way back in the 70s. The terror group fought one of the bloodiest civil wars in the world for 30 years, during which it assassinated hundreds of civilians and political leaders, including India's Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. A total of 120,000 people were killed in the conflict. Tiger Chief Prabhakaran was killed trying to escape along with his family, the LTTE, were the inventors of the suicide vest and forcibly recruited child soldiers. It's been eight years since the war ended and the LTTE is designated a terror group in most countries. Yet, celebrations to mark the 63rd birthday of the ruthless LTTE chief Prabhakaran were reported from various parts of the world and Sri Lanka. But is there real support for the slain terrorist or are politicians at work again? Senior foreign editor Padma Rao has this report. It's been just weeks since Beyond's exclusive, an interview with Britain's Lord Naseby, who said that his country, the United Kingdom, should no longer allow annual public celebrations of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, the terror group banned in the UK since decades. Yet, one of the first countries to demand that Colombo allow remembrance efforts of the terror group was the United Kingdom. British MP Paul Scully, whose constituency likely houses influential separatists of the 950,000 strong Sri Lankan Tamil diaspora, admonished Colombo in a letter for quote unquote not allowing Tamils in Sri Lanka to mourn their war dead. The north and east of Sri Lanka were torn asunder by the brutal war. Tens of thousands of Sri Lankan Tamils were left impoverished, mutilated and often bereft of children whom the LTTE had forcibly snatched and sent into battle. Colombo's central government has ensured speedy development and reconstruction in the Tamil majority areas over the past eight years, though the long-promised autonomy to the areas is still outstanding. But is that a valid reason to celebrate the life of a terrorist who was responsible for killing tens of thousands of innocent people himself? Still, Sri Lankan media reports showed small gatherings, cutting cakes, planting saplings and saluting the banned LTTE flag in many parts of North and East Sri Lanka, including in Velve Titturai, Prabhakaran's hometown in the Jaffna Peninsula. A member of parliament of the Tamil National Alliance, elements of which are still sympathetic to the LTTE, is even said to have allocated 26,000 US dollars to renovate a mausoleum in memory of slain LTTE carders. On all available pictures of the so-called celebrations, there is visibly thin presence. Most Sri Lankan Tamils who did not leave Sri Lanka during the long war do not hold a candle to Prabhakaran or the LTTE. But pro-LTTE groups abroad and local Tamil politicians seem hell-bent on making it appear so, at least through staged events and with plenty of support from Western governments. Sri Lanka may be a tiny teardrop in a faraway ocean, but after all, it is a geostrategically all-important one. Padma Rao, Vion. For more on that story, I'm joined by Vion's foreign editor, Padma Rao, who also filed that package for us. Padma, the fact that Prabhakaran's birthday is being celebrated, does it mean or is it fair to assume that support for the LTTE still exists and has not died down completely? Well, Prabhakaran's birthday has always been celebrated even when he was actually alive, uh, the chief of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, as the so-called Martyr's Day. Uh, because as you know, a total of uh, 120,000 people lost their lives in this very, very bloody civil war, which lasted uh, 30 years. So uh, this was uh, an occasion every year. Uh, and now, of course, uh, earlier in earlier years, uh, Prabhakaran's uh, visage and photographs and, uh, you know, he stood out more. Uh, his and the importance of his birthday uh, seem to have always taken precedence. Now it's on a slightly more subdued note and being, uh, you know, propagated more as the hero's day or the martyr's day rather right. than his birthday. But there is an unmistakable stamp of support and sympathy for Velu Pillai Prabhakaran in uh, many of uh, these uh, celebrations. Uh, people have carried his photograph, especially overseas. In Sri Lanka, the restrictions are somewhat greater, but in many Western countries, which have, uh, you know, which have taken on um, uh, refugees from Sri Lanka and have also given shelter 
two uh, former Tamil Tiger cadres right. who escaped the war and sought asylum and regrouped and have been trying and attempting to regroup and re-establish the LTTE in those countries like in the United Kingdom. Uh, you know, these celebrations take place every year where people openly hoist flags of the LTTE and also carry portraits of Prabhakar and even though both the LTTE and Prabhakar and the LTTE is very much a proscribed group in all those countries including and especially the United Kingdom. Right. Thank you so much, Padma, for joining us with that perspective.